Okay, multiplying integers, example one. So first, we're going to think, think of three times four as repeated addition. Remember back in the day when you first learned how to multiply, and then we did like three times four, okay, that was the same as four plus four plus four, it's four three times, which is 12. Okay, this is the same thing but with negative four. So you have negative four, plus negative four, plus negative four, I sound like a robot, equals, okay, well, you probably already know, but y in your book you're going to be asked to represent this using a number line. So you would start on zero, you go to negative four, go another negative four, go another negative four. I tried and tried to find a number line larger than this, and this is all I could find, sorry. So, negative twelve, imagine it. And the answer is negative twelve. Okay, another way to think about multiplying integers is to model it. Okay, so here would be an example of m modeling or using groups. So this is the same as three groups of negative four. So let's get another pretty color. So we have three groups, a beautiful groups, okay, of negative four. So that's just four negatives. Okay, so then you could say... How many do I have all together? I don't know what that little spot is, sorry. Um, well, there are 12 negatives all together. Okay, so 12 negatives. Okay, easy as pie. You guys ever heard that? Never mind being weird. Okay, let's get to an example. If you guys only knew how many bloopers really happen in these things, Sadly, you see the best of all the takes, and they're not even that great, because I say weird things. Okay, sorry, moving on. It's been a long day. All right. Um, okay, negative 3 times 4. It is always really important to remember that this is also the opposite of 3. Okay, so we have the opposite of 3 groups of 4. Okay? So we still have three groups and instead of having positive 4s, okay, we have oops, too big. Three groups of negative 4. Okay? And then you represent this the same way on the number line. So instead of going in the positive direction, because it's positive four, you're going the opposite three fours. So one set of four, two set of four, three set of fours in the opposite direction than regular three times four would be. Okay? So here you still have twelve negatives, negative twelve. Okay. Let's try example three. Okay, so this is the opposite of three groups of negative four. Okay, so opposite of three groups of negative four. Okay, so we still have three groups. Okay, well the opposite of negative four, the opposite of groups of negative four are groups of positive fours. Lots of plusing. Okay, so um, then of course you have 12 positives. Yay. Okay, and then if you have to model it on the number line, okay, normally negative 4 is going to the left, but since I'm doing the opposite of three groups of negative 4, okay, I go this way because it starts with the opposite. When it's right there in the front, just think, I'm doing the opposite of whatever follows. Okay? Alright. One other thing to talk about. I keep skipping everything. Somewhere. Okay, there it is. Alright. Okay, what's the product of three negative integers? Well, let's just use two, for example. So negative two times negative two times negative two. Okay, well, negative two 
times negative 2. That's the opposite of negative 2. So that's 4. Okay? So those go away. Then times negative 2, again, that's four groups of negative 2. They're all going to be negatives. So negative 8. Okay? So the answer is negative, and it will always be negative. Okay? Negative because there's an odd number of integers. Okay? So what if the product has four negative integers? Negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. 4. Okay? Well, if when I had three of them, the answer was negative 8. When I do it again, the answer is positive 16. Okay? So it is positive because there's an even number of integers. That happens every time. If there's an odd number of integers, it's negative. If there's an even number of integers, it's positive. Okay, that's it for the notes. Make sure you look on Blackboard and read all the directions so that you know what your homework is. Bye-bye.